get the whole story. Welcome back. We are speaking with Top Guy Talk with the group CEO Britam Holdings, just analyzing how their 2022 results did, which were quite impressive and is quite bullish on matters on why they're doing and what they're looking ahead at. Now, let's talk about matters digital strategy. I think you've alluded to it a little, and I'm curious to know how this, uh, you know, impacted the success over that past year, and how do you plan to continue innovating in this particular area? One of the things we have appreciated as Britam is that our organization may not necessarily have the DNA mm -hmm. uh, to come up with apps, uh, to come up with the technology that reaches the youngsters, wherever they are, yeah. or to emerging consumers, mm -hmm. uh, people who are not yet fully in the insurance space or working space, mm -hmm. uh, but still need uh, insurance. Uh, so what we have done is we have asked ourselves, who are good at this? Mm -hmm. uh, some of the obvious answers is insurtechs. Mm -hmm. Insurtechs don't have the burden of uh, heavy back office, mm -hmm. uh, infrastructure, mm -hmm. red tape and so on. Yeah. So they are able to respond quickly to mm -hmm. the changing needs of uh, customers. Mm -hmm. So we, by partnering with them, uh, we are able to quickly respond mm -hmm. uh, to consumer needs that would otherwise have taken us longer or costed us more uh, to do. So we are very strong on partnerships. Yeah. Uh, one of the things we have said we will do, we have actually started uh, an internal uh, lab, uh, investment hub. Okay. Uh, we are calling it uh, the beta hub, where mm -hmm. we are inviting startups, mm -hmm. uh, people with ideas but not necessarily the capital. Mm -hmm. uh, we, are, we, we are providing the capital, uh, okay. some sort of safe place, sandbox for them to try out new ideas. Mm -hmm. And those that we see promising, we are more than happy to invest in. Okay. This is the only way we will future-proof our business going forward, uh, improve on sustainability because a lot of these are entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and as Britam, we want to play our role in promoting entrepreneurship. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. With the good results, what message do you have or what is in store for your shareholders and stakeholders? That's an, an interesting question because yes. it's, it's double-edged. Uh -huh. um, when you have good results, uh, the natural thing to expect is that there will be dividends. Yep. Uh, in our case, mm -hmm. uh, we have a roadmap, uh, uh, some investments we want to make, mm -hmm. both in the region mm -hmm. as well as internally. Okay. Uh, we think we can be more efficient. Uh, remember, part of our results have been uh, uh, come off the back of efficiencies. Mm -hmm. So taking into account some of the investments we want to make, mm -hmm. uh, this year will not be appropriate to pay uh, dividends. Dividend, yes. um, th what this does is it lays the foundation for uh, a future where we will be paying dividend mm -hmm. uh, pretty much on an annual uh, mm -hmm. basis. So it's investment to enable us uh, grow yeah. and therefore uh, pay dividends uh, and improve our return to our, not just our shareholders, but also our investors, okay. uh, because some of our business uh, uh, lines are investment uh, okay. lines, like in our asset management business. So uh, no dividends this year, but for a good reason, uh, as we go forward, uh, there will be dividends once we have uh, made the right investments, uh, made the right uh, investments in the various infrastructures mm -hmm. uh, in our businesses here, mm -hmm. but also mm -hmm. in the region. All right. From what you're saying, it seems you have already um, sharpened your axe to continue on uh, taking up this market. And so I'm curious, uh, looking around the entire ecosystem of the insurance industry, which as well touches on matters finance, what would you consider? as Britam as your competitive advantage? So the obvious one is our super duper financial advisors. Uh, super they, duper financial advisors, I like that. Yes, <laughs> they are uh, cut above uh, uh, yeah. the average ones. Okay. We have invested over time mm -hmm. in our financial advisors. To be, to, to be honest, they are our main interaction 
with our customers, especially in the retail uh, space. Okay. So that's one uh, ad ad advantage we have. Yeah. The second one is we've invested in our brand over time, mm -hmm. something that uh, we are proud of, uh, something that we will continue uh, doing. Mm -hmm. So if you take into account the fact that we are deliberate about listening to our customers, mm -hmm. uh, responding to their needs, which change over time, yeah. uh, and obviously realizing that the services we provide and what we do are not for us, it's for our uh, customers. So if we come up with a, a product that we think is wonderful, mm -hmm. we like testing it out in the market. Okay. Uh, because that's why we exist. Uh, yeah. That's why we exist. Wow. Lovely. I mean, and uh, as we come to the end of this conversation, I'm keen to see what you have in the future because you're sitting at this particular seat and I can see the flags of all these particular regions that you're covering. I can see you have quite a number. Those are six, seven. Wow. That's quite a number. So what is it? What are you looking into the future when you look at your business and uh, opportunities, challenges that you may anticipate? So let me start with uh, our business here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Our life business is the biggest. Yes. Ha we, we, have the, we, the, we are the leading uh, in, in terms of market share. Yeah. So we want to continue uh, growing. Mm -hmm. If you look at our general business here, mm -hmm. uh, we believe that there is uh, considerable headroom in uh, medical business, for example. Okay. So we want to continue growing um, in the medical insurance space, mm -hmm. uh, particularly given that this is a product that looking into the future will still be necessary. Mm -hmm. So we want to be relevant, uh, do it efficiently, um, and uh, use technology mm -hmm. to reduce any fraudulent uh, claims that there might be that may challenge uh, our uh, projection into the future. If I look into the region, mm -hmm. uh, for most of, in most of the countries, we only do general insurance. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at doing uh, fund management mm -hmm. where that makes sense. Mm -hmm. We are also looking to do life business uh, in some of these countries uh, that we now consider uh, are ripe, ripe for uh, life uh, business. So what do I see into the future? Continued growth here. Mm -hmm. That growth will come from partnerships yeah. and innovation. Uh, we've seen the impact that uh, uh, the climate change has yeah. um, uh, in our lives today. Absolutely. Uh, we, we have a business in Mozambique, as you probably know, yeah. and in Malawi. Mm -hmm. And only uh, about two weeks ago, a week and a bit ago, yeah. uh, there were floods, significant floods, yeah. uh, cy Cyclone Freddy. Mm -hmm. So what that says to us is we have a role to play, not just in the aftermath mm -hmm. of uh, uh, such climatic, uh, uh, adverse uh, climatic changes, mm -hmm. uh, but making or deliberately going into the space of looking at products mm -hmm. that help cushion the adverse effects of, say, famine, yeah. uh, flooding, mm -hmm. uh, so that our emerging customers in that space mm -hmm. uh, can count on us mm -hmm. uh, to uh, be there for them when okay. these things happen. Yeah. Now, part of, obviously, ESG is sustainability. Mm -hmm. We are big on um, uh, conservation of energy, conservation wow. of water, mm -hmm. uh, because these are the right things to look at. Absolutely. Otherwise, they are quite, you know, they become quite, uh, our planet will not be sustainable mm -hmm. if we do not deliberately address some of these uh, yeah. issues. So we are, uh, sustainability is, is, will be a big um, part of, being part of, in our, this near part of future. our strategy. And I love that you've mentioned about that. I was about to ask you whether there's any, uh, uh, you know, sustainable CSR activity that you're doing. And I'm happy to hear uh, a bit of that progress that you, yeah. that you're making. We have a foundation that hasn't oh. been um, uh, very active, okay. but uh, it's one of the ones we've, we have revived this year. Okay. Uh, through that foundation, we actually want to make more in, uh, investment okay. in um, uh, sustainability. Mm -hmm. uh, 
climate change as, uh, an ins uh, as a big insurance and as a market leader in insurance, um, what can we do about uh, flooding? Mm. What can we do about our livestock farmers, our uh, crop uh, insurance? Uh, th these are areas we are working with like-minded partners okay. who are experts in climatic matters, weather matters, mm -hmm. so that we can predict and be ready for uh, our customers okay. uh, when these things happen. All right. Mm -hmm. Maybe as a part in short, um, your industry, some people shudder to think about it. It's very of us risky. <laughs> And, and I think, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're aware, you've seen sometimes you've reported in the news where some insurance companies have uh, ran on their feet after things went south in a way. Do you think you have, uh, I don't know, what are your thoughts about that? How, how risky is your business when you do a risk assessment? Are you worried? No. <laughs> Being alive is a risky business. There is no way you it. can <laughs> avoid risk. Yes. And what our industry is about is mitigating these risks okay. for individuals, mm -hmm. for families, mm -hmm. and for business. Yes. Uh, what we are saying is, um, as you do your normal business, let us worry about the risks that you encounter. Mm -hmm. However, for us to help you, you need to, I mean, we need to talk together yeah. so that we understand some of the risks uh, that you are exposing yourself to, and so that we can come up with the appropriate uh, products mm -hmm. uh, for that. Um, we, we, we live in risky times yeah. um, where, uh, you know, risk in one corner of the globe or an event in one corner of the globe mm -hmm. just takes a matter of hours or if not minutes uh, yeah. to get to here. Mm -hmm. uh, previously, we would have thought that uh, Ukraine is very far from mm -hmm. uh, Kenya. Yeah. But um, everyone now can feel the impact of some of these geopolitical uh, You're right. activities. You're right. uh, it's also, you know, um, probably appropriate to mention that uh, our, inv you know, the world is becoming a, v a village, mm -hmm. uh, more so. It's always been, but it's more so now. Yeah. So the investment decisions that we make for our long-term liabilities and long-term portfolios can make the difference between being profitable and not being uh, profitable. Okay. This is these are areas we've invested in, okay. and so instead of being worried, as uh, as as you indicated, mm -hmm. we are actually quite bullish about the future. Yeah, Risk it. is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay. In fact, to us, it's an important element. <laughs> That's a good place on that point to end the conversation. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. There you have it. That's uh, Group Holdings CEO Tom Gitogo talking quite optimistic and bullish about the industry and looking forward to us to at least scale some heights in this particular organization and he has broken it off for you what do you have to do make sure you take up some of their products i think they are quite amazing and uh, he has spoken it all why they have the competitive edge thank you so much for your time i leave you now with the markets